Well, only two years, a little over two years, and my LG TV went bad already. The parts are made in Korea, and the LG Smart TV is assembled in Mexico. Here is the controller. You turn it on. That's all that happens. You see that? What happens is there's about 10 or 12 capacitors to go bad in there. And you turn it off. You try to turn it on. You try to turn it on and it just won't turn on. And supposedly capacitor. So we had to buy a new TV. So here we go. Here it is. The Samsung 55 inch class smart TV. It's the ultra high definition 4K series C6 smart hub. This is like I said, it's got 120 motion rate. It's the Samsung, the number one US TV brand for five straight years. So I'm not going to go with the LG anymore. I'm not really happy with LG. Like I just said, after two years, a little over two years, the capacitors went bad. Smart TV, LG, bad, gone. So we're going to try to go with the ultra high definition TV. This is going to be, we're going to open that box after I show you the price. Now I here. learned my lesson. I was old school. Old school, you don't buy warranties. But now, knowing what I know now, I think the warranty might be a good idea. Um, so maybe because the parts are made in Korea, they don't, the capacitors don't last. As you can see, this Samsung model, 55 ultra high definition, it was 850. If you buy it at Sam, Sam's Club, they gave you $50 off. So basically the TV cost $800. And I'm here to recommend that you probably should buy the four-year warranty protection. It costs $100. So basically $25 a year, month. year. For four years, you're covered. Now, I would have never bought this warranty if I didn't have this bad experience with LG. But I had a bad experience with LG. So I'm saying probably not, probably not a bad idea here. If it breaks down... They say they will come to your house and fix it. If they cannot fix it, they'll give you the money to buy a new TV. So there you have it. Now let's open the box. First thing we do, cut them on both ends, cut them on both ends. Alright, we got the box open in the corner. This will be the adapter to put the stand on. On the top. Setup guide for the smart TV. Take the foam out, and here is the stand on the on the far right side is the stand. The TV has some foam wrapped around it, so we'll take the stand out last. Take the foam out. So take the foam out. Now we take the TV out, put it in a safe spot first. So, put the TV in a safe spot, rip the cotton off, here is the uh, remote control, battery cable, and of course, 
this is the stand. The TV will hook up here and I'll show you later when we put the TV flat we'll screw the screws in and uh, so the next thing we do if you notice I got the TV face down on the box see I laid the box down flat then we just you lay the TV face down on the box as you can see now we have to put everything together we have the stand we have the adapter that hooks the stand up to the TV we've taken out the power cord you got the remote the batteries for the remote now you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver we're going to take four of these little screws they gave us four of these little screws and we're going to put it in here. See the holes? One, two, three, four holes. And that groove there where my thumb is. Actually, it goes like that. Okay, so this part, the round part, goes to the back. I believe this is going to be the front part of the stand. So again, you just just sits on there, sits on there like that. A screw here, 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 here. This is what we do first. Screw those in first, and then we'll go to the next so step. How simple it is. Like I said, screw that one in. Go in the back. Screw that one in. Pretty simple. So one, two, three, four. And that one's hooked up to your base. Now we're going to go and put this piece onto the back of the TV. The way that's going to work is if you notice, all that does is fit right in there. You see, the, see those two little uh, tongues there? The tongues just fit right in there. Pretty simple. We got one two, three, four screws, which are, and look, that's all there is to putting the base on. So all we do is finish tightening these up. You don't want to tighten them too hard. You don't want to strip anything. So you tighten them up as hard as, uh, as you can. Again, don't use too much muscle. You don't want to break them. You don't want to strip them. So you'll see when it starts to get a little tight and stop. And now, this is the power cord. I believe you can put it in either way you want. See the round two? So you can put it in this way, or you can put it in this way. Just put it in there. It's very simple. We're all ready to go now. All there was was four screws here, four screws into the base. You saw that. Plug it in. We're ready for setup. So we all we got it done now. The last step is to rip off the tape. The tape that went all the way around. It says the energy guide. It says here it'll be fourteen dollars a year. Yearly energy cost. Actually, this one says it'll be eight dollars. To run this, it'll be eight dollars. Other models cost fourteen dollars, so only eight dollars a year to run this TV, supposedly. Anyhow, we take those off, and we're ready to go.
And the last step, you put your batteries in the back there, push the power button on. I just turned it off. Try it again. Wow, that was pretty cool. So now we got a brand new TV. Set up, and all you have to do is click English. And that would be right, I believe that would be right, this button in the middle here. That button right there, you see the arrow? We'll hit the arrow. There it goes, English. So you had those four arrows there. Right? This is the button in the middle you push to hit. And then we just go on and um, set up should be pretty easy. I hope you enjoyed this box opening of the brand new Samsung 55 inch high definition TV.